Hello and welcome back again to the Chassis Variant series with myself, Critical Rocket, and we're going to be looking still at the Cataphract. There's a lot of variants of the Cataphract. Oh, so many variants. This might be the mech that has the most variants uh, for the heavy category in the Inner Sphere, at least. And uh, this one we're looking at the Capellan Made 3L. Now the 3L was based on stolen designs of the Cataphract 3D, which itself was based on stolen factory production lines from the Capellans, because the the Federated Suns captured the planet Tikhonov, and that's where most of their production was, and they, they saw the 1X and that, and they went, oh, well, that's we quite like that, but we're going to make our own version, and that's why they made the 3 Davian, the 3D, and then the Capellans stole the plans for the 3D, and went, oh, we can do better than that, and they made the 3L. <clears throat> so yeah. Same story twice, but hopefully it makes it clear. So the 3L uh, is, yeah, it's similar, but it does have a distinct differences. Um, for a start, it has medium pulse lasers. It comes with an LB10 and has an ERPPC, but its most important feature is mask. It's the only mask-equipped version uh, in MWO of the Cataphract, and thus uh, it allows it to reach a very respectable speeds in the tabletop, that's 86 kph, obviously in Macquarie Line, that's a bit different with things like speed tweak and the such. Um, but overall, uh, it's a variant that comes with five energy hard points and a single ballistic hard point. So, uh, actually not much different uh, on the hard point setting, it's actually one of the few variants that pops out of me as not being hard point inflated, which is impressive for BGI, how they sort of held themselves back. They went, no, we won't do it, we just... I don't want to hit the hardpoint inflation button, the random number generator for how many extra hardpoints, plus nine, yeah. They didn't do that, they didn't decide on that one. Uh, <laughs> and it doesn't need it, it's a perfectly good design. It's, it can be a bit hot, but it can do phenomenal damage. Mask allows it to very quickly get out of danger, uh, behind cover when it needs to. And uh, actually, it's one of the variants, I didn't say this in the OXP video, but um, this is actually the variant I would uh, recommend picking up. Uh, the one I'm running is the 3LL version, it's the legend, the legendary one that they gave everybody, or sorry, not legendary, loyalty one that they gave everybody, um, but it's no different from the standard L variant, it just has two L's on it. Um, but yeah, I'd recommend it, uh, if you get it for C-Bills, pick it up, because uh, it's a fine mech, uh, it's, a, it's a fine old design, uh, lots of nice uh, arm-mounted energy, a couple of torso-mounted energy, but the majority are in the arms. Uh, just obviously you have to bear in mind the usual uh, cataract issues, um, things like low slung arms, uh, ballistics being mounted in the side torso but not particularly high up, so again you you have to be aware of the body positioning of your mech uh, when you're going to start firing. I think a couple of times I uh, end up hitting the walls and stuff, uh, side, uh, sides of buildings and that while I'm trying to play this one. Uh, but yeah, overall it's a sturdy design as well, you've got plenty of options for uh, whacking up the armour value and stuff. Uh, if you if you want to keep going a little bit longer, it does come with an XL engine, a standard, which makes sense considering all the equipment that this thing's carrying. And um, yeah, it's it's, it's not much more historically to talk about with this one. Uh, this does end up. Uh, I said this in the OXP video if you'd watched that, uh, but th this one ended up being the model that got used by a majority of the Capellan armed forces. Is it 25% of all the heavy mechs are this variant? Uh, which is a phenomenal number uh, when you think about it, uh, given an entire great house within the Inner Sphere, that's a huge number of battle mechs are specifically uh, built around uh, this one variant of mech. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's distinctly Capellan. Despite the fact that the writers couldn't help themselves and they gave it to the Davians, it's always going to be a Capella mech and it looks fucking awesome. Um, Really, really fun mech to play. Can't really sing its praises enough, to be honest. Uh, again, though, I'd like to stress, and I'm probably going to do this in every match that I do badly in with the uh, Cataphract, is that it's not a bad mech, it's just I'm, I'm a bad Cataphract pilot. Always have been. Never been able to get out the starting blocks with this mech. Um, even though I've always wanted to be good, it just, for some reason, has never been something that I, I could just... Uh, I, c I could ever do brilliantly with, uh, and it sucks because yeah, it's it's a. Uh, I think it's an underutilized heavy these days. I don't think it gets seen very often in MechCorry Online. Uh, I'm thinking 
last few weeks I've been playing, I don't remember seeing many cataphracts. Maybe it's just because they've been around for so long, most people have already sort of played them and, you know, got them, you know, mastered and whatever else, or maybe it just gets lost in the shuffle, maybe there's too many heavies, or maybe there's just other heavies that are better. It's likely there are other better heavies out there. But, uh, if you haven't had a look at the cast for it, I do recommend if you've got the spare sea bills in a mech bay lying around just to have a look at it, especially with the new skill system coming in where you don't need three variants, it is worth checking them out. Uh, they are fun. Uh, they are very fun. And I'd just like to stress, the end of this match is me running from one end of the map to the other because the base was being capped, no one else was going back, I went to the base to try and defend it, no one was there, looked like a complete munchkin, had to charge all the way back to the other base, and that's, that's basically when the video ends. So uh, yeah, I'll leave it there, uh, just to give you a bit of a heads up on that one, um, I'll, I'll spoil it as well, we lost. Um, although I do, I do get a nice little sort of cheeky kill on an atlas that I think was already out of weapons anyway <laughs> at the end, but yeah, uh, we, we get dicked pretty hard uh, at, the, at the end of the round uh, by a completely fresh fucking Marauder 2C of all things. Uh, apparently the guy had been just sort of AFK or something the entire round and then he turned up and yeah cleaned house, which was a shame because I felt my team put in a lot of hard work in a pretty good fight overall. It was a pity it got ruined by that last mech that turned up and was completely fresh. <laughs> anyway, have a good one folks, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll uh, catch you all next time. Have a good one, bye! New target acquired. New target acquired.